Hi Virgo, welcome to your horoscope psychic tarot reading for the month of July 2018. Thank you for listening and watching. If you would like your own personal private psychic tarot reading, contact me on my website lamartownsendtarot.com. I do birth chart readings, tarot readings, messages from your spirit guides and more. I also offer Instagram readings if you would like a more direct reading, so follow me on Instagram at Lamar Townsend. The information to purchase will be on my website. $3 for 20 uh 3 questions for $20 okay so that being said Virgo let's jump right into your reading for July 2018 what's in store for my Virgos for July 2018 Sun Moon rising Venus Mars Mercury Jupiter Uranus Pluto Saturn all right Mars <laughs> Lilith South Node North Node first through 12th house if you have prominent Virgo in your chart this is for you What's in store for my Virgos for the month of July 2018? What's in store for my Virgos for the month of July 2018? Let's see what the cards have to say. The past is the Six of Michael. All right, it's the light at the end of the tunnel. Breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans, relocation or travel. So some of you could have relocated or tra uh, have been traveling in the distant past. Maybe you are coming off of a traveling trip. Um, maybe you are coming fresh off of a relocation, whether it's a relocation of job, a uh, uh, living situation. Okay, some fresh situation I feel like you're in. You're moving into um, by July 2018, okay? The present situation is the Knight of Ariel, so this is always a spiritual guidance card for me. This always for me means that you know you're being guided by your angels, your spirit guides, your ancestors at this time. It says there's so much to be uh, to accomplish, make a very detailed plan, being watched over by someone kind. So it feels like whatever this new situation is that you may be coming into in July 2018, you hit the ground. You're hitting the ground running. All right, <clears throat> I'm seeing redecorating. Excuse me. So some of you could be redecorating this month. You could be redecorating your office or your living situation, your room, something like that. The Sun card here in the future position, Archangel Uriel. Life is wonderful. Thrive through the power of positive thinking and inspiring success. Some new inspiration is coming in this month for you guys in July 2018. A fresh energy. It's almost like you guys are doing your spring cleaning a little bit late or you're having like a second wave of spring cleaning. Um, you know, you guys are dusting out the cobwebs in the corners of your spaces. You guys are getting rid of what no longer resonates with your spirits and your souls. And you guys are bringing in new energy. So this feels like a very kind of, um, an energetic month. A very hustle and bustle month for you guys. Once again, I feel like you guys are... Hustle and bustling, I feel like you guys are, you know, being um, initiated into some new situation. You know, it's like fresh energy, um, and at the same time, you're feeling fresh internally. You, you know, you're just feeling fresh all around, and it just feels great. Let's pull a card from the bottom of the deck. It's the Nine of Michael, and this is about worries and anxieties, okay? Your worry is unnecessary, it says. Focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire. Release feelings of regret, guilt, or worry to your angels. <coughs> So it feels like, uh, Virgo, you may not be taking enough time for yourself. And maybe that's where the worry and anxiety is coming from. Um, sometimes we have to take time for ourselves just to make sure that we're on the right track. Just to get back, you know, in tune. To see how we feel. To see how we're feeling. You know, you guys are so amazing at being there for other people. At living up to your responsibilities in life. That sometimes you guys can forget to put yourselves first. So, Spirit is really wanting you to put yourselves first first this month put your emotional needs first okay this month <clears throat> and whatever uh, excuse me understanding that whatever people situations can't provide for you in terms of your emotional needs provide those things for yourself and if things aren't providing you with certain needs that you need it's time to acknowledge your relationships um, it's time to acknowledge and reassess your relationships I think I meant to say reassess <laughs> but acknowledge though and reassess your relationships with these things these situations these people or these places that are no longer benefiting you or your highest good or your soul growth 
the conclusion for you guys is the decisions card so a major decision a major letting go all right releasing yourself from that which holds you back a need to detox unnecessary worry based on a lack of self-confidence so once again with this new fresh energy i'm feeling for you guys you guys could be being put into certain situations where you're not familiar where you're not used to being so um you may be called to be um quick on your toes this month um you may be put on the spot in some way shape or form this month um and i feel like it's all leading up to you letting go of your worries and your fears and having a more positive approach and i feel like by the time you put on the spot you know your energy will be so light that um meaning that your thought process will be less clouded that you'll be able to think on the spot you'll be able to make the right decisions the right moves on the spot and understanding once that's over how that all comes together wow i really winged that and did that really you know i slayed that you know how did i do that well let me think you know i was really positive i didn't have a lot going on in my mind i was in the present moment you know looking back at the things that worked for you um during moments where you winged it and you were successful during moments where you went off the top of your head and things kind of worked out all right <clears throat> here's the two of aerial balance okay making work fun all right so bringing balance restoring balance back into your life the balance the key is balance okay i'm hearing the key is balance for you guys this month all right Balancing your responsibilities with the responsibility to yourself, which is to keep yourself happy, to keep yourself sane, to keep yourself grounded, you know? The relationship with yourself is as much a responsibility and is just as important as the relationships in your life, okay? The other relationships in your life. Whether it's the relationship you have to people, to your job, to your career, to your followers, to your fans, you know? Here's the Ten of Michael. A situation has ended and you are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Putting the past behind you. And learning to let go. Really letting go. Embracing this new opportunity that lies ahead for you. Embracing this new... Uh, recourse. What? Recourse. What does that mean? Recourse. Your 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 course is being redirected, recourse. This recourse that's happening for you. Um this recourse of you kind of putting yourself first. Putting your needs first, what you need first, so that you show up better in your so that you show up better in your relationships, you show up better in your responsibilities, your day-to-day -day responsibilities. You know, that's the key. Balance is the key this month for you, Virgo. Putting yourself first, putting the needs of others first. Or putting yourself first and then putting the needs of others, you know. I don't want to say on the back burner. I don't want to say it on an equal level. But putting yourself first and then putting the needs of others... Putting yourself first and putting the needs of others. What's the word? What's the word? Tie this together for me. Please help me tie this together. Putting yourself first and putting the needs of others in... In... A state of... Putting your needs first and putting others' needs in a state of... Uh, in a state of self-preservation. What do I mean by that? Putting your needs first and preserving the needs of others. Putting your needs first and preserving the needs of others. That's what I mean by that. Putting your needs first, acknowledging the needs of others. Okay. Maybe telling them, I'll, I'll get back to it, I understand, you know, your stress, your strife, you know, let me get back to you, you know, I've got a, I've got a nap, I've got to do this. Putting your needs first, but preserving the needs of others. 
That's what I mean by that. I wasn't sure about it at first. I was like, what's happening here? But I get it now. Putting your needs first and then preserving the needs of others. So that's the key this month is balance in that that kind of aspect. Putting your needs first and then putting the needs of others in a state of preservation. All right. In a state of acknowledging them, acknowledging that you'll get back to them. All right. Um, but you've just got to put yourself first this month, all right? And that's not a bad thing. That's actually a really, really good thing. So, Virgo, if you would like your own reading, contact me on my website, lamartownsintero.com. I would love to read for you, okay? If you would like your own personal reading. Uh, otherwise, thank you for listening and watching. Have a great month. Please share, like, and subscribe. Namaste, love, and light. Hey guys, thank you for listening and watching. Please hit the like button, share with your friends and your family, and also please subscribe, of course. And if you're interested in my ebook, check out my ebook, purchase it on my website or on Amazon. I would also love it if you would follow me on my social media, Facebook and Instagram. Until next time, thank you guys for listening and watching, and I'll catch you in the next video, alright?